fucking one more year old. He'll be there. Hello, hello. How's it going? Hi. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff out here on the old uh, table. <clears throat> How's it going tonight? Penny, hello. How are you doing? Hi, Penny. So how are you, how's everybody doing on this uh, wonderful Easter? Anybody? Uh, he has to risen. <laughs> Doing well. That's excellent to hear, Penny. Did you uh, do any family things for, for Easter, or were you guys just home all day? Just quarantining. Oh, it's all sweet to pop a box. We, uh, we just got done with dinner a few moments ago, and... Yeah, just kind of hanging out. Hey, Chad, how's it going? How are uh, how are things down in the KC area? Tojo, how are you doing? Yo, yo, yo. Happy What's Easter. Up? Home all day, huh? Yeah. I feel like uh, people are going to start getting cabin fever if... Uh, I am, uh, and I really like our home. <laughs> A few things don't start changing around here. The weather's been terrible. Today's been exceptionally bad. So, yeah. So, how's everybody doing otherwise? Everybody uh, in good did, health? and. Did the Easter Bunny bring you anything? Yeah, did the Easter Bunny visit you guys? Easter Bunny visited old dad over here. <laughs> yeah, I, I got some... Uh, uh, what, oh, trolley uh, uh, gummy gummies. worms. There you go. Sour gummy worms. 60 degrees today, huh, Penny? Yeah, it was like 33 or something here. We had snow on and off and some hail, and it's been windy and just crappy all day. Nope. Not I'm... been good. So, so last week we did, uh, I guess what I'm going to refer to as a uh, shit show Sunday and we uh, apparently uh, a lot of people enjoyed that so we may try and do that again I guess um, yeah looking at some terrible stuff I know you know Nick Shabazz does his whole terrible gear live thing so I'm you know not really looking to uh, copy what he's got going on but it was fun I had a good time hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well um, our daughter heard us laughing so hard that she started watching on her phone and she thought it was pretty comical too so yeah so my daughter told me today actually that uh, the next time we do that that she wants to get involved in that so i told her that that we could probably make that happen uh, i'm assuming that you guys wouldn't mind if my daughter joined us for this ordeal but uh did anybody get anything new this week any new gear out there i did you did I got oh, yeah. D's. D's mine. I took it. <laughs> yeah. As soon as this showed up the other day, uh, I showed it to Molly, and she went ahead and took it. So it's like, um, that's adorable, and it's a great color, so I'll have that. Thank you. Yeah. And then he tried to re-gift it to me as a gift from the Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the, this morning, uh, guys, I... I don't even know where my head's been, I guess. I, I didn't even realize it was Easter until yesterday. Uh, Not like oh, you, you got, really get me stuff. Got the uh, Chris Voyager. That's pretty cool. I do not have the Voyager. I have the old uh, Chris Tylite. That's the only Chris that I have, but it's pretty cool. I like it. Waited on the limited blue. Oh, blue lights from Olight. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw those being advertised, Tojo. They look really nice. I'll, I dig the blue color for sure. So, one of the things, so I I got some new Spyderco stuff. Uh, we'll leave that one out real quick. I'm going to move some stuff around here and, yeah, get some of this stuff out of the way. 
Mm -hmm. While he's doing that, I want to touch on something. Um, so I don't, I mean, obviously we don't air every ounce of our private lives or anything, but we've had some people, you know, get frustrated with timing and such here lately. And um, please understand that we both have full-time jobs and two children and a hobby farm full of animals and other responsibilities. So, you know, we're not, Justin especially not, um, looking and checking the email all the time and every single message that he gets it's it's not an instantaneous thing because we do have other responsibilities so if y'all could respect that and just be patient <laughs> that would be great because um you know he's definitely not trying to push anybody off or you know ignore anybody but uh, work and family does come first so just be patient he's you know pretty on top of getting things shipped out and this and that and um, getting in contact with everybody, I, I've definitely had moments where I'm like, just, they'll, they can wait. <laughs> we so, have to do this. Yeah, so we had an incident happen where I had a, a guy that approached me uh, wanting to potentially trade some knives. And I'm not going to mention any names or anything because it really doesn't matter. Yeah. But we uh, exchanged emails back and forth. I was actually interested in the trade that he was offering up. Uh, but then... Uh, there it was a couple of days had passed and we were busy we had things going on and and i'm dealing with work and different things and whatnot um but i i actually uh checked my email to but one of the reasons was to respond to that guy as well as some other uh, people that i know knew had been sent in emails and and uh he got real ugly really quick yeah. and started uh, cussing at me and whatnot and literally it hadn't even been uh uh two full days um so i don't know anyway i just you know i responded to the guy i was pleasant and cordial when i responded i i started to type out and get real nasty back and then i thought you know what no i'm I'm going to be more mature than that. No, no. We just and up and I just explained to him that, you know, this isn't the only thing I have going on in my life. And, and especially right at the moment, things are really crazy. Um, and I'm sure most of you guys saw that I did a, a fairly large knife sale a couple of weeks <laughs> ago. And that kind of strung out over many, many days. I ended up selling a whole bunch of knives. I couldn't so, tell you how many trips both of us made to the post office. Yeah. Like we were there every day. So, you know, it just, it, yeah. Anyway. Uh, we just want you guys to keep that in mind going forward. I I mean, most of you have been very understanding. Yeah, and, yeah. And vast. everything. It's But just to make things clear, this is not a profession for us. This Just like Chad said, it's a hobby. Right. And we do have full-time jobs and other responsibilities. So just, you know, if if it's taken a little bit, just be patient. We'll get there, you know. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so on to some more uh, fun things, I guess. Uh, how many of you guys have seen the new uh, Spider Coast Siren? Uh, this is the new lockback from Lance Clinton. If you guys remember the uh, Spider Co. waterway that was released a little while back. Um, the K2 Anno. Do you want me to read that to you? Or can you read that uh, to uh, Tojo, uh, so to answer your first question, uh, green is not one of the colors that you can get out of that style of anodizing. Uh, what did I do with that? Well, here's one uh, that I've done. <clears throat> hey, Winchester, how's it going? Super Seal Steve, what's up? So, uh... Oh my God, you're such a fucking <laughs> troll. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, you can see here, you can get purples and blues and bronze and a lot of different colors, but green is not one of them. So, so, uh, I didn't read the entire, you, that sucks. That would be cool if you could. Yeah. Green just isn't one of the, the colors that you can do on with that style of anodizing. Uh, hey, Steve Kluver, what's going on? Yeah. I don't know who let super sissy Steve in here, but he spelled, um, cocksucker wrong. Did he? <laughs> Well, he hasn't finished. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, 
Uh, yeah, so, you know, I mean, you can do lots of different things, anodizing. Uh, this is a different form of anodization. Uh, you can get green uh, titanium, but not in the flame and acid style anodizing. Hi, Sasa. Hey, Nick, what's going on? God, how do you remember all these people's names? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, so with, these with this style of anodizing, you're really limited to just shades of purple, blue, and, and a few different shades of like a bronzy yellow kind of color. So, you know, based on where there's lots of different ways and different uh, things that you can do with this kind of anodizing. Uh, Stas is in here. He definitely knows, uh, knows how this works and uh, does some amazingly beautiful work. Um, Mother fucker. <laughs> You forgot the R. <laughs> That's you funny. forgot the R. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, yeah, they, I mean, really on this knife here, and I, you know, it's getting dark here, so I don't have any natural light to be able to show this. But if you look at the video I did with this and natural light, you'll be able to see the colors really well. And this kind of is um, basically this kind of encapsulates all the colors that you can get with this style of anodizing. So, so yeah, hopefully I answered your question. Um, but so yeah. <laughs> back to the, uh, the spider co siren, uh, Dumb. Th this is uh, a pretty cool knife. This one is rock and LC 200 N if I can get it to show it there, right there. Um, and a pretty cool design. The, the texturing that they did on this G 10, it's, almost like Velcro in your hand. It's super grippy. It's unreal how, how grippy this stuff is. And I don't know how long that'll last. You know, a lot of the spider coves, uh, like a, a Manix, the kind of standard texture that's on a Manix, you know, th that initial bite that's on it or whatever kind of wears off it just after a few days in the pocket and then it gets a little smoother. Um, yeah, whether or not this will do that, I have no idea. I haven't carried this yet, but it's a cool knife. I, I really dig the the LC two hundred ends. Pretty cool. Uh, I really like the the fine belt satin that they uh, do Hi, on Zach. the LC two hundred. Hey Zach, what's going on? Uh, you need to build up the courage to try and oh, huh, Winchester. I'd say just go for it, man. Just, just do it. To yeah, him. just like ripping off a band aid. Just one, two, three, go. <clears throat> oh, Steve Kluber has some new Tucson news, if you didn't cover it earlier in the live stream. Uh, I have not covered anything about Tucson. Uh, Big Thanks, Red, Big what's going Red. on? I appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, we haven't talked anything about Tucson, uh, but if you guys want to talk a little bit about that, uh, Tucson is having issues with uh, shipping right at the moment. Uh, they generally ship things via Hong Kong uh, because uh, the, yeah, if you don't know where their Tucsons are made, uh, here's a Tucson here. Uh, they're made right next to just a couple miles away from Hong Kong, um, and that's where they ship from. Uh, but that's uh, an issue right now with the whole virus thing going on. Uh, so currently, uh, to my knowledge anyway, they have pulled most of their knives from eBay. Um, you know, you can still purchase them. I think uh, uh, White Mountain Knives still has some available. And then Williams Cutlery out in California, they also sell some Tucson stuff. Um, you know, Tucson's definitely still are, if you're looking for just really good value and good materials, um, it's still the best bang for your buck if you are you know, okay with uh, the whole Chinese knife thing. Um, that's a, you know, a whole nother topic of conversation. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, Tucson is not, I heard some people say that they were closing down. I actually had some people message me about it and whatnot. They are definitely not closing down. I can guarantee you that. They're just having some issues with shipping right at the moment. And they will be hopefully back up and rolling very, very soon. So yeah, once uh, once the shipping stuff gets squared away, then they'll be back at it. Can we be done with all this? Yeah, I'm I'm about over it. That's for sure. So another uh, uh, new one that I got this week is 
the uh, the new smock. This is the uh, Knife Joy exclusive, and it comes in smooth G10, and I think it's on this side. Do you prefer Tucson or Ganzo? Tucson for sure. No, it's not even not even comparable. There you go. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is the, the new smock or, or exclusive smock in 20 CV and smooth G10. Uh, the G10 does have a little bit of, uh, I'm going to call it texture because that's what it looks like. You honestly can't feel it. Um, you can just see it. Uh, it. It's very, very smooth. And one of the things... Uh, this is the standard smock right here in S30V, and this has the uh, uh, laminate uh, carbon fiber over uh, G10. And I don't if you guys are familiar, I haven't done a disassembly video on it, but I know some other people have. Uh, there's a, a two detent balls in this knife. Uh, there's a second one that essentially makes this not a gravity knife. Uh, a lot of people remove it. And this one that I have here in my left hand, this one has had that detent ball removed. And you can see just how free dropping that knife is. Uh, this one has not had the ball removed. And the action on it is still good. Uh, you can see it just drops slower. Steve, thank you. Who was that? Steve Kluver. Mr. Kluver, thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate that. Um, so... This is kind of cool. Uh, I was I was pretty pumped to see it. I like the smock. Um, it's a great knife. The pocket clip I don't really care for much, but um, I actually <laughs> have some stuff coming to show you guys about that. So stay tuned if you're interested in the uh, in the smock and don't like the pocket clip. Uh, I can't wait to meet Super Steel Steve because I'm gonna nut tap him <laughs> so hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So you got a smock tonight, huh? Got Dad? a smock tonight. Well, I got a pair of smocks here. Uh, ooh, ooh. hitting stuff Watch here. Yourself. Yeah. So um, yeah, cool knives definitely. Uh, and uh, so another Spider Co. I got was this uh, uh, pair of three in blue and orange G10, and this one is in uh, Rex Forty Five. So definitely, yeah, it won't, yeah. Oh. He said it won't go back. Uh-huh. Yeah. It won't go back to centered. You need to oh. try everything. Oh, really? All Yours the is off-centered? Yeah, mine, I pulled the detent, and it didn't change <laughs> the centering at all. Uh, this <laughs> one is also centered. What? <laughs> um, Steve says that he'll be wearing a cup, and that him and you are gonna scrap oh yeah that's yeah i got no problems with that yeah and uh nut check at your own risk oh, okay got it nice <clears throat> yeah well, he's right gonna on. wreck you <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he got all these I, pressure pull oh it's I, scary i'm just saying you better uh check your you, bill you better pack you, you, be you, be you better pack a lunch <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, okay. you guys did talk about Yeah, we talked yeah. about it. Yep. No, you didn't forget that. <laughs> no, I didn't forget. I forgot. <laughs> so one of the things that <laughs> Hello, I want... Hello, perverts. <laughs> Who's this? this is Taz. Oh, ta... hey, Taz, what's going on? So one of the things that I wanted to do was, since I got some new spider codes, and none of these new spider codes <laughs> have uh, cut anything at this point in time, so we're gonna check out and see what Spider Co's got going on for some factory edges. Uh, this uh, the smock here feels extremely sharp. So we're gonna we're gonna see. Victor asks K three ninety. Uh yeah, the ladybug is in K three ninety. Uh I put a video out on it the other day. It's it's pretty cool. <laughs> I like lunch. Agreed, <laughs> big red. All right, so I'm just gonna. I was just curious about this, so I just want to see how how sharp these are coming out of the box. So I don't know. If, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not, mm. but it was a. One sec. It was 130 grams on the uh, yeah, 20 CV smock. Barely, it looks like a shadow almost. So we're gonna have Molly reload that one. Um, 
I thought I was fired. <laughs> oh, no, you're rehired again at the moment. Okay. So, and we'll check out this, see how consistent they are. So the smock was 130. Well, not, not very is the answer to that question. The uh, siren was 235. Here, I'll do it. Oh, go, go ahead. Read the comments. Kay. You're better at that. Oh, <laughs> I do good at reading. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, bye, Winchester. You out of here, Winchester. We'll see you later, man. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're uh, healthy and safe and all those things. Yeah. Big Red's grilling right now. Mm. Nice. Yeah, I heard uh, I was in on uh, Zach's uh, live earlier. Heard you were going to cook some ribeyes. So. Nice. I got some of those in the fridge for this week. Uh, the steal this month is any 400 series. So. Well, you, you need to put your money where your mouth is, Steve, and actually uh, send one in this, this month. They're, uh, you know. Mount up, son. Mount up. <laughs> Regulators. <laughs> All right. So the uh, pair of three was 195. So still the smock at 130 is the sharpest. I made so some. Uh... The Tai Chung factory doing the best factory edges so far out of these. I made some Cornish hens for Easter today. So poo poo on your ribeye. Yeah. I don't know. Ribeyes are good, too. Yeah, ribeyes are fantastic. But the Cornish hens were good. We had a good dinner. It was nice. And you got breakfast. I'm never and, cooking yeah. again. Whoa. <laughs> That's a bold statement You're there, Cotton. those ribeyes in the fridge raw. All right. So all we got left here is the ladybug. I'm going to have to move this up a little bit. Oh, let's see how sharp my little baby is. Yeah. That was number two. Not as sharp as the uh, smock, but that one was 165. So, so out of the four, we've got the Tai Chung factory coming in at 130 with the smock. Uh... This is uh, Seiki City, Japan at 165. And then we've got, uh, yeah, Golden, Colorado on the pair of three. And I think, yeah, Golden, Colorado. So out of the, out of the three factories represented here, Golden is uh, bringing up the rear for sure. So that's, that's kind of disappointing, honestly. Yeah, right. <laughs> I would have, uh, wah, wah. yeah, would have been a little nicer to see that be different, but, but it is what it is. I mean, they're still all very, very sharp. You know, any anything under, you know, three hundred, it's still shaving arm hair and all that good stuff. So, you should probably dull mine down so I don't cut myself. <laughs> dull it down so yeah. you don't cut yourself, <laughs> huh? Yeah. Right on. So you guys. Uh, have any uh, requests of things that you would like to see? Would you like me to sing you a song? <laughs> We're, uh, I've seen a lot of talk about budget knives lately. And I've heard lots of people talk about knives under 50 bucks and what you can get and what's good and what isn't and all this kind of thing. Um, these knives that I've got sitting here. Do you have an... I know I'm not going to say it right, but Ikuchi? I do not have the Ikuchi. Ikuchi. Uh, I have had one, uh, but I sold it. It's The, the compression lock is um, it's not my favorite lock. It's okay. Um, and the things that I dislike about the compression lock were made even worse on the Ikuchi. Uh, the, the access to the lock is very, very minimal. Um, so if you look at... Like on this pair of three, you've got this big cutout here where you can access the lock. But uh, compression lock knives are really uh, just strictly a right-handed knife. And because I'm left-handed, 
I I just I mean I have a few compression lock knives. This is a pair of three and Maximet. Um, you know, it's yeah. I don't hate it. It's just it's not my favorite. Um, uh, I I like the Manix better. So uh, the Akuchi it the access to that compression lock is is very very small, very minimal, and it just isn't something that's really comfortable i do like the the kind of wheel style flipper portion of it that part's cool but but otherwise not a, not the biggest fan of the akuchi it's it's just okay it, i don't necessarily really dislike it it's just not something that i'm really in love with jesse would like your input on the sog terminus xr uh the sog terminus xr i think is one of the better things that sog is making at the moment um I also think for that reason, uh, you know, when that knife first came out, they were priced, in my opinion, accordingly. And since then, the prices have gone up on those pretty substantially. Um, I think the first SOG Terminus that I got, I think I got it for, I can't remember now, it was, you know, 60 bucks or something like that. And then the prices jumped drastically pretty quick. Um uh, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's an okay knife. Um, like I said, I think it's one of the better things that SOG is making. Although there's a couple of new things that SOG released at the beginning. That I, I haven't had them yet. I haven't had my hands on them. But there was a couple knives that I want to check out that SOG is supposedly releasing this year. I don't know if they're out yet or not. I haven't really been paying attention. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think the Terminus is a bad knife. I just think that Currently, it's overpriced for what it is. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, yes, they are. Bob Keller likes the idea of talking about budget knives. And then also, uh, Victor says you should um, cold steel sharpness test from the factory. Test a cold steel. Uh, right now, I don't have any cold steels that are straight from the factory um or wait a minute i coochie <laughs> <laughs> so and i saw zach you said that sog had some cool stuff at shot show um yeah that, like i said I, I i've seen a few of them that they are releasing this year that looked really cool i just haven't had my hands on them yet so um yeah that's cool i mean i hope that they you know i would love to see them come back and do some great things i mean i have some sog stuff and like I said, I, I don't dislike the, the Terminus XR. I just think that it's overpriced for what it is. Uh, but this, I really haven't, I haven't cut, I don't think, anything with this mm -hmm. at this point in time. So we could certainly uh, check out and see how sharp the old Chris blade is. So let me let me get her loaded up here and we'll, we'll find out. We finna find out. Yep. Yeah. I've been pretty impressed with cold steel, really, overall. Um, the quality of pretty much everything that they've been doing lately. You know, even something and that's ridiculous. Filipino footwork guy, right? Yeah, this is Filipino <laughs> footwork guy. That's correct. That's how Molly knows Lynn Thompson is Filipino footwork guy. That's all I see. Yeah, which is hilarious. Him but... trying to get a hog or something and <laughs> missing, thanks to his filipino footwork he was safe yeah he saved himself with the filipino <laughs> footwork yeah it's pretty pretty comical it's my favorite yeah what do you are you get uh, i'm interested to see which part of this blade you use uh, well i i think I, well okay. i'm gonna go i'm uh -huh. gonna go middle hump right in the center um smack dab in the middle yeah right in, right in the middle hump my hump, my hump, my hump, my hump. There it is. Now you got a song. <laughs> All right. Yep, that part looks good right there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh, yeah. That not, didn't seem good. No, nah, not real good. Not super sharp. Oh, no. Should we test a, we a could, different spot? Yeah, I'll test another spot here. That was 355 grams. So, <laughs> Spider Co's got, got him. Zach says, I've tried the middle hump, but he better he better luck with the back hump. <laughs> the back hump? Nice. The back hump's the best, huh? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Boo! 
That is a boom. Broke the water or the uh, test see, media on that one. You're fired. Yeah, well. You're fired. Since I'm the one that does the firing around here, then. Yeah. <laughs> Cold Steel fanboys start crying. <laughs> We're giving it a second chance. Yeah, yeah, Maybe uh, it's a fluke. I'm gonna give her another go. We're this time we're gonna do uh we're gonna do third hump. Um ew, I don't know. Do an in like do a we'll do a, a valley. A valley? Yeah. All right. We're gonna do Jesse, you middle, need to middle up valley. your Easter game, son. All right. Here we go. Actually, oh. I'm going to go here, I think. Oh, a little better. So, it was maybe. better. Uh, that was 235. Um, but, you know, this is also a crisp blade, so I'm also going to excuse that. Um, one, of my, one of my favorite knives uh, is a cold steel, the AD-15. I've really enjoyed this knife. Um, and, like I said, the the quality and man when this thing first came out it was you know you could buy this thing for it was like under 150 bucks i, I can't remember exactly what they were this thing is but, dirty you need to is it dirty yeah <laughs> oh yeah it's got spots all over well, it and it's got like fuzz in there yeah well that's what happens gosh it's the bit the big fuzz <clears throat> buffalo chicken pizza from papa john's nice I like buffalo chicken pizza. You guys, uh, I don't know where all you guys live, but you guys have Casey's, uh, Casey's gas stations. They make they make good buffalo chicken pizza. I'm a num -a -num. If you guys are familiar with the Casey's uh, Casey's pizza gas station, when Molly and I first met, she was appalled that I would eat pizza from a I gas was, station. I was disgusted because. She was a city girl, and I grew up in a little bitty town in the middle of nowhere. Uh, yeah, and, and where I grew up, there were no Casey's at all. They had not come that far yet. b Rye, you're in Canada. And Penny, no. Yeah, Penny, you're in California, right? I know there's no Casey's out there. Canada, eh? Chad knows what I'm talking about. You hate Casey's, quick trip all the way. Yeah, hey. I, Ew. Ew. I don't uh, I don't know about Quick Trips Pizza, but Quick Trip certainly no, got a they've sweet drink uh, uh, set up, fountain drink yeah. set up, no doubt. They've totally changed up their setup, and we don't have one near us or that's you know what? that we pass a Quick Trip as oh, often you anymore. Don't. I, yeah, I you. do all the time. Yeah, so <clears throat> it may you know be something to consider. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I I don't know about their pizza, but but anyway, so. So back to the the budget knife deal. Uh, oh yeah, QT Pretzels. Yeah, Bomb. It, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah, it is gourmet. So all of these knives here in front of you, you can buy uh, for under fifty bucks, and they are stellar. Um, this uh, this is the Tucson TS one twenty seven. Uh, this is in, you can see black and OD green G10. Got a deep carry pocket clip and it's 14C28N. Uh, it averages about 12 to 13 thousandths behind the edge and riding on ceramic bearings. It's got a detent ramp. You can see it there cut in uh, on the blade tang. Um, it is uh, just, a, just a fantastic knife and because of this little opening or blade hole there you can spidey flick it you can do all the stuff stellar knife under 50 bucks it's a rock star same thing with both of these they both have the exact same style deep carry clip uh this one's 14c as well this is the tucson ts165 g10 uh it was black and white i dyed it red um uh, but just ergos on this thing are fantastic all of these are like right around three and three quarter inch blades uh this here is like a reverse tonto uh again riding on ceramic bearings this is the uh tucson ts124 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the 124. It might be the 121. 120-something. Uh, <laughs> Orange G10, they make it in a lot of different ways. Between, between 14 121 seats, one, and 129. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it's it's either 121 or 124. And then this one here, this is... Is it Smooth G10 on that? It is. Uh, it is Smooth G10. And Tucson, if you've never handled a Tucson, uh, their G10 is fantastic. Um you know, one of the knives that people go on and on about uh, for budget knives is the Civivis. I like them. They're cool. Uh, I certainly like the the hollow grinds that they're doing, like on this Civivi Shredder. Uh, but, you know, they do a lot of D2. And when it comes to edge retention, I did a, a three-way kind of battle video between uh, those two and... That one's middle finger friendly. <clears throat> And this one right here, so the CJRB Centros, the Civivi Shredder, and the Tucson TS-165. Uh, th Price-wise, uh, the Civivi is the most expensive, the CJRB is the cheapest, uh, the Tucson's in the middle. All three have deep carry clips. Uh, these two are D2. Uh, this is 14C28N. They're all G10. They're all riding on bearings. They're all about the same size, uh, but ergos and edge retention the tucson just knocked it out of the park it's, it wasn't even close actually uh the civivi and the cjrb are good knives They're, you know nothing really wrong with them the cjrb for me anyway the clip creates a bit of a hot spot but uh but you know like i said it's a fine knife um just for the money uh i, I just Right now, I don't think you can beat what Tucson's got going on, especially in this budget world. Um, the the build quality is fantastic. Centering's perfect. Uh, just they're, they're killing it. They really are. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna go down this road of buying knives from overseas or you know primarily China, uh, yeah, I just <clears throat> it's not comparable. So like this one here, this is the Tucson TS one sixty eight. Bye, Zach. Later, Happy Zach. You Easter. out of here? Uh, Enjoy your Easter dinner. Yeah, thanks a lot for stopping by. I appreciate it, man. Uh, this is obviously two-tone G10. Got a titanium pocket clip. Uh, this one also has titanium liners, uh, thumb stud, and a flipper. And this one is sporting 12C27. <laughs> My wife has informed me that Papa John's gave us complimentary pepperoni because it's Easter. Nice. That just struck nice. me as really funny. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Nothing here, wrong with have that. have some Easter pepperoni. Yeah. He has risen. <laughs> yeah. There you go. One of the best things, I, I just noticed it here. And. Uh, oh, I, yeah. That was another. Might Easter as well get a little, a little uh, opening knife here. So yeah. this. The Guardian Tactical, uh, this is the Recon Elite in LMAX. But one of my favorite parts about Easter is this right here. Oh, uh, what's the name of this green and black one again? Uh, this is the Tucson TS-127. And they offer this in a whole bunch of different ways. You can get it uh, like this right here with orange G10 and carbon fiber and S90V. Uh, this one has the titanium clip, titanium liners. Uh, it's got a hardened steel insert on the titanium liner, uh, as well as a full titanium backspacer. Gorgeous, gorgeous knife. This is one, one of my absolute favorites. Super thin behind the edge. It's flat ground. Awesome knife for sure. Whatever, Jesse. You're a plant trying to get us all to buy Papa John's pizza. <laughs> is that what's going on here? <laughs> you said I'm not a promoter, I promise. <laughs> Well, we aren't for... Um, you got one of those eggs. things on the roof of your car, don't you? Yeah, right. <laughs> peanut butter egg. Cannot mm -hmm. go wrong mm -hmm. with this. This is one of the best parts about Easter. They're the best if they're fresh, too. Yeah, these are good ones, I'm too. I'm very particular about my peanut butter cups. They have to be fresh. The kids have <laughs> even learned how I test them in the package. Just like if we're at the grocery store and I'm feeling like some. How do you test them? I squeeze them just slightly to feel if the peanut butter is still soft or if it has hardened. Really? And if it has hardened, we proceed. But they have always asked me, 
there why you go. I do that? You want a little close up shot? Mm. Oh, sexy. That peanut butter is delicious. Yeah, I've got the kids trained well. <laughs> mm -hmm. My little teen helpers. Oh, yes. I am delicious. I am delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you made your own TikTok right there. There you go. There you go. Oh. I'm addicted I, to TikTok, by the way. <laughs> I better put back my... The my, opening apparatus? Yeah, my, my egg opener. Um, Yeah. Yeah, the red and black one is a Tucson. Yeah. Yep, all of these... All of these here are two sons. Bye, Big Red. Enjoy your steaks and salmons. And yeah, enjoy the, the, uh, the ribeyes there, Big Red. Have a good night, JB. And uh, tell the missus we said hello. Hope the family's doing great. Tojo doesn't like them. The peanut doesn't butter, like what? The peanut butter eggs. The, you don't like peanut butter eggs? You can't be our friend. No, I'm kidding. That's, I didn't. Is that possible? I, yeah, I didn't even think that was possible. I thought it was like a law. Huh, yeah, I didn't know that that was even possible. I don't know, our daughter doesn't like them either. So you she need doesn't. To go steal I, yeah, I didn't some. even know that. Yeah. <laughs> so here's another. Uh, since we got on the subject of Tucson, this is another product from Tucson. This is a titanium pen with a carbon fiber uh, uh, tube inside there. Everybody eats dinner so late. Everybody's leaving. The West West Coast. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, ooh, I'd have some indigestion. <laughs> Big Red and Zach and all them West Coast time. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's only six there. That's acceptable. So <laughs> worry for yeah. your digestive system. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little carbide tip right there, and uh, yeah, cool, cool pen. Uh, if you guys are into that kind of thing, uh, it's all titanium. Uh, and this one here is, uh, I can't remember where it comes apart at. Good Lord. Yeah, the PB eggs are the best. They're they're better than the trees. It's just a ratio thing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The trees are fine, but... The eggs are where it's at. Yeah, for sure. Oh, no. Get your muscles on them. Get your main hands yeah, I out. I can't grip it. Well, That's anyway, you'll my... have to just take my word for it because I can't get it broke loose right <laughs> at the moment. Uh, it's got a Parker-style insert. Uh and yeah, it writes really nice. And man, you can <laughs> you can get these things for uh, like I don't know 30, 35 bucks or something. Like they're crazy cheap. Uh, says Tucson milled into the titanium there. Now I anodized this one, so uh, but they do offer them anodized. I've seen them purple and bronze and different colors. Uh, yeah, sorry, so. Victor, I did. Take all your fresh. I, I traveled the country <laughs> taking all the fresh peanut butter cups. Scouting all the fresh yeah. ones, huh? And yeah. why my butt is so big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I, about the pen, I just, maybe this would be helpful for the ladies. Okay. Um, I had never written with this pen until today, actually. I wrote um, on an envelope for Justin. And although it was fine... It, I, it was a little big for my hand, the diameter. So you might want to consider that if you're a lady because it's super cool. I love the way it looks. Like, Yeah, and it's a bit heavy uh, when you post the cap. Uh, it's fine for me, but, but there is quite a bit of weight swinging back there. So, you know. Something to think about. This is certainly a more aesthetic thing. Um uh, do but you, I don't mind writing with it for sure. Do you have a model number? Does it have a model number on it? Uh, it's it's called the uh, Pioneer EDC. So uh, as far as I know, that's how, how they refer to it. Uh, they call it the Pioneer EDC pen. Um, but Tucson makes a whole bunch of other little things. They, I've got a handful of little tools um, and yeah, little pry bar tools and different things. They're all titanium. The machining is is always spectacular, um, and you know for this type of thing right here, um, yeah, they're they're really nice for sure. Do you own any Mont Blanc? No, I do not own a Mont Blanc. 
Sally, yeah, we talked about that at the beginning of the stream. Tucson is just on a hiatus because they're having issues with their shipping um, hub. So due to the virus and everything. So it's been, you know, just put on hold for a little bit, but they'll These be back. These are a couple of the things. This is the pen that I generally carry every single day. <laughs> uh, and this is a pocket pen. It's crazy, super lightweight. This is plastic. Uh, and it pulls out and snaps in just like that. It's got some O-rings on it. Uh, if you can hear this, it snaps in. And you can pop it out and push it in. It snaps back. Um, and this is, you know... I don't know. The diameter of it is fine. I mean, these are really cheap. They're just a couple bucks, uh, you know, like four or five bucks or something for one of these. And they, you can get them in all sorts of different colors and whatnot. Chad said that he has a belt buckle that Night Morning gave him. Oh, nice. <laughs> Speaking of odd, you know, different things. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Night Morning Design does some really cool stuff. Hey, Bad Monkey. Hey, Bad Monkey, what's up? Uh... So this thing, you can see there, it's 0.22, and I'll show you in, oh, maybe, in grams, 6.46. But comparing that to this titanium uh, Tucson pen, you can see there it's 30, almost 32 grams, and it's 1.127 ounces. So, you know, not real heavy, uh, but but yeah, Molly said it was a little heavier for, for women. Yeah, and more diameter. Oh, was that's my right. issue. It was, it was the girth. Yeah, the girth, not the weight. Um, not to no. So not even gonna go there. <laughs> is Dom Bond in here? Yeah, Dom nice. Bond just showed up. Right on, Dom Bond. How's it going, boy? Thank you, Mister Rascal. <laughs> hey, what's it's going nice on, Alex? It's nice to see oh. your face back Ra in. Yeah, here. Rascal seventy seven. What's going on? Thank you very much, sir. Um. <laughs> You're saving for a tiger. You did watch it. <laughs> nice. Yay. Nice. Hello, all you cool cats, cats and, get, and cat. kittens. There it is. There it is. Cool cats and kittens. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Carol Baskin here. Big cat, kitty cat, fucktard ridge. <laughs> Carol Baskin's a fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're obsessed. I just saw that there's a new episode to it. Is there? It's like interviews. Oh, I'm nice. pumped. I'm nice. super pumped. So this knife right here, uh, if you guys... <laughs> I'll never be the same after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Tiger King. For those out there, if you don't know what we're talking about, you guys need you to watch it. You have to watch it. It is a shit show of epic proportions. And then you need to download TikTok. I know it's controversial, but it's epic. Yeah. It's so great. Download I'm... TikTok and watch all of the Tiger King content it's so funny I'm, I'm not into the whole tiktok thing she, molly watches it a lot or looks at it a bunch but yeah that's not my jam there my jam um, is laughing if it's well, gonna yeah. make me laugh and they take away they took away vine this is what i have well to work that's with. true i loved vine so or if i don't know if anybody out there is familiar with this little knife right here um penny likes tiktok yeah there you she go. She knows what's up. Nice. It's so funny. Uh, this uh, this is the uh, shark <laughs> from uh, Derek Costa. Uh, really cool knife. And I'll be doing uh, a full review on this coming up really soon. Uh, That's I've my been, favorite color, guys. I've been carrying this uh, on and off. And it's a cool one for sure. It was actually manufactured by Reich, uh, the same company that does like the alien four and all those no it's um, not kid appropriate jesse definitely uh, not which one tiger king. oh tiger king yeah no. i mean how old's your kid well and how, yeah, like, i suppose protective are you you know what i mean there's some it's some crazy crazy stuff going on in that deal like there's all these crazy uh, it's family fun yeah, yeah i mean like in our family yeah we're we're not yeah but our kids are older like yeah i mean we've got teens even if they were younger you know i mean i probably i a wouldn't 10 let, year I wouldn't, old wouldn't i wouldn't really let young kids watch it younger yeah yeah like it's not it's not young kid appropriate for sure oh the 15 year old for sure could watch it yeah i mean as long as you don't care about you know your 15 year old being exposed to some cuss some words. serious cuss words and whatnot i mean there's a 
there's a murder for hire plot and all sorts of crazy yeah relationships going on and yeah it's it's a it's a yeah the 10 year old like probably wouldn't care or get it yeah and maybe not the three-year-old definitely would just probably be like oh tigers <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's definitely worth a watch though it's, it's definitely steve, steve says it's 100 percent kid friendly i mean like in our house yeah we don't really do yeah a polygamy of, yeah it's yeah yeah like i yeah we could we could uh, do a whole entire show just on the Tiger King. Uh, we could actually probably do ten shows on it because it's, uh, it's. I could talk epic. about it for the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, Love it, but yeah, mm, use some judgment with your kids because yeah, I mean, there's a, a threesome marriage of men, and you know, yeah, like yeah, right. which yeah. whatever. But and there's suicide and. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Why does he have three husbands? Exactly, rascal. And there's drugs. I mean, they don't like show people it, using yeah, drugs, yeah. but they they talk, talk about, about it. About it, right? Uh, their and, teeth tell the story. Yeah, their teeth. <laughs> the lack of teeth tell the story there. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, but but you know, uh, you have people running for president and for governor, and I mean, they're, yeah, there's... it's it's a it's a thing. Public man. service. Yeah, public service. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. How many of you guys out there have any of the uh, Kershaw launches? Not it. Not it? I haven't seen that. Yeah, You haven't seen this? Uh-uh. Oh. So this is the Kershaw we launch, 2,000 US dollars from Steve. Super Steel <laughs> said that. Not to mention the bloody stump. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. A hand gets there. Well. Oh yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin anything. Yeah. Right. The two thousand U.S. dollars was the cost of a tiger. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> About the same as hiring a hitman, apparently. <laughs> apparently yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. Just sell a tiger, knock a guy off, or a lady. Nice. Yeah. So this here, uh, if you guys are into side opening autos. Uh, the launch series is really these are fantastic, uh, and they for the most part I, I think most all of them are in CPM one fifty four blade steel, and this is one of the stabbiest bastards I have ever seen. Uh, really really thin blade stock and super super stabby blade uh, and and good size. I mean this thing's a it's a big knife. Um, like Razamataz's wife would say, it looks pretty murdery. Yep, yeah, that is a murdery looking knife. Uh, well, here it is. Against the, <laughs> that's a Sabenza, large Sabenza 21. And a pair of three. So you can see a pretty good size in length. Uh, but definitely the stiletto design is, is really slender and small. Um, you but, can get stiletto nails and shoes to go with oh, and be very stylish. Stiletto nails? Yeah. I, didn't know. I mean, I've heard of stiletto shoes, but what, no, I don't know what stiletto, stiletto nails, nails are. They come to a point just like that. Oh, night. gotcha. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Steve, is that how you wear your nails? Yeah, he Super matches his nails yeah. to what blade he's carrying. That's, uh, yeah, I figured. I figured yeah. that's what he does. Along with his heels, <clears throat> you mm -hmm, know, he mm -hmm. coordinates color and yeah. Yeah, color and shape. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Nice. Well, you know, you got to work it, girl. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so. <laughs> Sachet chante. Oh, that stinks. I have a handful of Tucson knives stuck in limbo, I suppose. Just got done chatting with Tucson folks, and they said it's going to take much longer to receive them. Who was it? Who was said that? Mr. Cortez. Cortez, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Um like yeah their shipping situation is not good i don't i don't know the the whole extent of it i just know that uh something about the the uh shipping between the u.s and hong kong was a problem uh and all related to the coronavirus uh so they've got issues there what okay first off rascals said justin can be knife king okay and um if that's Carol Baskin's a fucking bitch. If that's the case, I'm out. I'm oh, not. Okay. We're not getting another. I'm not getting a husband mullet. or wife. Oh. You're not getting a mullet. Well, I don't care about a mullet. Oh, okay. Um, can, and I, then, can I bleach my mullet? 
Absolutely. Okay. All right. I'll do it for you. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Um, Steve said, I wear my nails to match your wife's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, nice. burn. Nice. You're the... You're the like, oh, wait. The no, I probably friend? shouldn't do that. What? I was going to flip off the camera. Oh. Well, I don't care. You can... Like these? You want. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Side, side opening autos. I got another one here. This is the old... Uh, the Boker uh, Kalishnikov, uh, full size one. So, yeah, I didn't see <laughs> if anybody left any comments about the side opening autos. No. You guys have a bunch no. of those. A lot of people have side opening autos, or are the autos that you have <laughs> oh. just OTFs? Uh, Rascals did say uh, that is the perfect knife for Carol Baskin. <laughs> oh yeah. And yeah. and Jesse said he loved the launch four. The launch four, uh, yeah, that's a, a small Cali Lego, mm, Cali legal. Gotcha. Side up, side opening auto. Uh, it's a cool looking one too, and they they do have some really cool colors. They got an awesome blue color. They do it in. Yeah. Uh, um, is it a decent steal? Which one? I don't know what you've got in your hand. Yeah, this is a CPM one fifty four. So yes. Uh, it's a good steal, especially for the money. These are U.S. made uh, aluminum scales. Uh, you know, Kershaw's really been doing well with the U.S. made stuff. Uh, the clip that I have on this is not original, uh, just to let you know. But it does not come with a deep carry clip, so I have put that on there. But uh, for a U.S. made CPM 154 auto, and they're right at 100 bucks. Um, uh, I think, I, I think this model right here retail on, it's like $99. I'm pretty sure. And some of them are even less than that, uh, 69, 79 bucks. And like I said, I'm pretty sure all of them are CPM 154. So for USA made, uh, auto, it's pretty cool for sure. How when, you... you know, this is along the same lines and you're going to pay 50 bucks or something for this thing, uh, or around that money for 40 or 50 bucks. So, how do you yeah. feel about a Boker Aus Eight? Uh, that's what this is right here, and it's okay. Like you know, I mean, it's a budget thing for sure. Which one's snappier, a Boker or a Kershaw? Uh, the Kershaw. The Kershaw. Uh, <laughs> let's, I have no let's clue what here. knives you have on the table, and they're okay. So, I get it. I'm, I'm with you. I'm gonna see if we you you watch as well. See if which one you think's faster. I'm going to try to do it at the same time. Oh, boy. You ready? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, I don't know. They're close, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do it again. Dude, they're right on. Like, yeah, they're They're, this they're way. close. Really close. They're both per snappy. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> the wind's going to blow us away. I'll tell you what's not as snappy as this auto right here. <laughs> <laughs> can't carry autos so i'm forced to not like them <laughs> yeah that sucks yeah i would say these two are pretty even uh you know one of the things that slows down a side opening auto is blade length however uh this blade's very very thin and very lightweight so um yeah you know compared to like this is a side opening auto but it's as you can see very very slow this is the whatever valley flipper tool thing from cjrb Compared to that and that. So, yeah, I don't know. They're pretty close. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't tell. Yeah. On, like, if you had some slow motion camera or something, but just to the eye, right. they're really, really close. Any experience with Samuor knives? <laughs> Samuor? <laughs> San Ranmu. What? <laughs> S-A-M-I-O-R? Oh, I don't know what that is. Samoir? <laughs> that baby Tonto you were playing with looks like a slightly bigger brother to the Samoir, Samior, H-Y-O-O-3 Tonto. I don't know. And I don't know which Tonto he's talking about. Baby Tonto. Did you, say, did you say baby Tonto? Is that what you said? The baby, that baby Tonto you were playing with looks 
like a slightly bigger. Does it help for oh, me to slow down? <laughs> this one? Is this the one you was talking about? Uh, maybe. This thing's actually not all that small. It's it's small in uh, like height, uh, the height of the handle and uh, the thickness, but length, uh, it's actually <laughs> on par. Bye, Tojo. Later, Tojo. Uh, you can see here it's, you know, for length, it's pretty close to the pair of three. I think it just looks so tiny in your massive hand. Yeah, well, that, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it is a smaller knife, just. Yeah, it, it's actually, I mean, it's, it's a nice little bold. box cutter. Uh, no, this is the Shark uh, from Derek Costa. Uh, Aloni Knives. He's the hey, same Christine, guy that did the goat. how you doing? <laughs> Women carry knives in the house. She's a hot to me and not you. <laughs> no, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so uh, Aloni <laughs> Knives Goat. Uh, this is the same same guy, same designer. And you can actually buy these on his website. And they're real reasonable money. Uh, they're maybe just over 100 bucks, at 125 maybe. It's M390 titanium. And you can see here the, the anno work on it's fantastic. Uh, like I said earlier, this was made by Reich. Uh, knives. Hi, Brian. And yeah, so they just do a really, really great job. And it's just a good little carry. Um, in and out of the pocket is really good. And it's fairly deep for a milled pocket clip. You get really, really deep carry. And yeah, I, I really like it. Action on it's really good. It's, would... it's a nice little knife for sure. No, so... Despite the color, just like the size and the the profile and everything mm -hmm. it strikes me as like a lady carry yeah like women's carry you know but but it, hey christine have, have you had one of these uh the aloni i know you had the goat uh have you had the shark do you agree with molly if you have had your hands on this do you like it for a woman's carry here you put it in your hand see what you think of it yeah <laughs> nang, 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 nang. What the hell? I don't know. I mean, it's a shark. That's how a shark goes. That's how a shark goes. Duh. I think throw that one out. Yeah, there. I like it. It fits the my void. hand really well. It feels good. It's not too bulky. You know, because a lot of times. Just how wide this is makes a difference for me. Yeah. And this I can fully wrap around and get a good grip on. So I I would think that would be a beneficial. What do you think of that one? That one's assisted, so it's going to go when you, there you go. Um, see, uh, I mean, it's fine, but there's just... I can't really like crank on it. You know what I mean? If I'm really getting dirty on something. <laughs> you're getting dirty on it, huh? And you're yeah. you're gonna crank like on it. Like when I'm in a knife fight, because yeah. that happens. Yeah. <laughs> Dance fight, you mean? Yeah. 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 So there you go. I don't know. Just a thought. Hmm. Right Probably on. the goat. I would love to get my hands on a shark. And just so you guys know, sharks go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shark, the shark, I think is a cool one for sure. Um, I like it and it's well made, definitely. Uh, and like I said, I'll do a full review on it uh, coming up very soon. And this here is the uh, Kershaw Knockout in <laughs> carbon fiber and M390. And he said, Molly Baskins. <laughs> Molly Baskins, a bitch. <laughs> She's a bitch. That bitch <laughs> killed her husband. Head them to the tigers. <laughs> yeah, I need to get tigers. Uh, oh man! It, oh, yeah. Grom's back. <laughs> hey, Grom, what's up? He left for dinner. And he was like left for dinner and came back. Still going. Cool. Nice. Yeah. So, anyway, guys, we've been going at this for over an hour. So, are are you guys in favor? Do you want to see the? Uh, the shit show Sunday uh, come back that we did last weekend. Nismo wants to see the sharp by design up close. Okay. And yeah, so no, let us know what you think about the shit show Sunday. Like if you guys enjoyed that, like I'm, 
I know we both are happy to be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I certainly ha enjoyed it and had a good time with it and whatnot. Here's just some uh, some yeah, close-up shots on the Sharp by Design Void. Uh, definitely a cool knife. I like it a lot. Um, that's It's well done. The design's really cool, for sure. I'd love to have the full-size Void. Yeah. Action on it's really great. They all seem to approve of Shit Show. They loved it. <laughs> they lo love Shit Show Sunday, huh? All right. So that was a true representation of us just being. Yeah, I mean dumb. that was yeah just us being dumb and whatnot. But we enjoyed That's it. We had just a good time. Day to and, day. and you know, uh, our daughter enjoyed it too. She heard us laughing, uh, and so she decided to watch. And <laughs> she was watching the live in her room while we were filming it, which is kind of funny. Yeah, we told her she should have commented. <laughs> yeah, yep. But uh, John Beltowski. Yes. He wants to know if you can show a list of the knives and the prices. So, like, are you wanting a list of everything we've talked about and the prices, John? Or Hey, Jesse, uh, the uh, Rex 45 Para 3 is for sale. Uh, hit me up. You can send me an email or uh, hit me up on Instagram or whatever if you're interested. <laughs> My wife will understand. Will she, though? Will she really? <laughs> Maybe I'll include something nice for her to save your ass. So I don't know what, uh, John, I'm not sure what you were asking. Uh, list of knives and prices. Uh, just so you're aware, these are not all for sale. Um, this one is for sale. I do have a few that I'm selling, but but that's not really what we're doing yeah, here. We're, this wasn't this a sale a video. Knife sale, yeah. We were just... Uh, just shooting the shit. Yeah, just BSing and talking about Tiger King and... And that Carol Baskin <laughs> being a bitch. Knife King is breeding and selling knife cubs. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we have created a monster with Rascal. We should not have told him. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The, pro have, the problem have, is should... they're all inbred and they come out like this right here. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> a list of... Uh, they're missing teeth and all kinds of shit. Of today's things. Like... I guess a list of today's things. I don't even oh. know what we've really talked about. We're not yeah. keeping track like that. Yeah. I, sorry. Um, yeah. I I don't know. I can tell you that this here is a uh, Kershaw Launch Eight, uh, and it's right around a hundred bucks in CPM one fifty four. This is a Boker Kalashnikov in OS Eight side opening auto. Oh, he said and, got it. Sorry, it he there. must have just been confused oh, thinking okay. it was a knife sale. Which, oh, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Probably didn't start from the beginning or you know hopping yeah. in and just checking in. So, yep. Yeah, they're not always knife sales. Yep, we're just most of the time it's just jacking around. Yeah, we're just messing around, having a good time. So, you know, but when we do. A knife sale. We definitely put a list. Yeah, of we'll put a list at the up end after we're done streaming. Yeah. So this here's a if if you're looking to cut a body up and you want to do it with a <laughs> slip joint, okay. So if you're gonna you gotta you, cut before you feed the tigers. Yeah, right? if you're gonna quarter exactly. If you're gonna quarter up a body to feed it to tigers or put it through a you know uh, a meat grinder or whatnot, and you want a slip joint. Uh, specifically, this is your guy right here. <laughs> this thing is a beast of a knife, and you can even get way back on it and do some do some whacking. Uh, you can whoop on something pretty good with this this old girl right here. So this thing's like <laughs> over four inch blade. Nothing better slip than a joint. slip joint to cut through the joints. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and it's got a glow in the dark blue. Uh, let me, it is quite lovely. Hold on just a second. It's very, very nice. The Void XL is out, huh? $1,200. Yeah, it's a custom. Mm. Yeah, the Void XL is super, super sweet. I would love to have one, but yeah. Not today. Not today. Never, actually. Because <laughs> I... Kill, kill the light there so. for a second. Yeah, I'm not really sure who let her know that they cost that much, but thanks for that one. 
Chad did. It's yeah, thanks, Chad's fault. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, Chad. No, no. This, just this light right oh. here. Okay. Good lord. Stop. Oh. Look at that. That's a beauty right there, oh, Clark. Oh, that's a beaut. So, so you got the old blue, the blue backspacer. I don't know. It's showing up pretty good. I mean, that's why I was going Oop. for the, all the lights. Yeah. So. Oh, I'll say never, Mr. <laughs> Therapeutic <laughs> Edge. <laughs> so. We got kids. Yeah. Sucking yeah. up our money. <laughs> Eating us out of hey, house and home. Peter, I know I know you like large knives. Have you checked out the uh the Benchmade <laughs> Auto Bedlam? This thing is so much cooler than I ever expected it to be. Um I'm generally not one for like big Persian blades and whatnot, mm -hmm. but this thing is amazing in the hand and uh yeah, it's the Access Auto is way cooler than I, I yeah it's just way better than i ever ever anticipated do you have a spidey chef i do not uh i have had a spidey chef i chad, do not have one at this point in time chad i don't believe you for a second he said sorry he has cheaper ones like 150 dollars. <laughs> keep keep working chad keep working if you we'll, think i am daft <laughs> you have got another thing coming good sir we'll, we'll get there we'll get there <laughs> the, you better have some freaking diamonds on the other side of that goddamn thing. <laughs> uh, but you know, if if he does a, a Void XL uh, mid tech, you know, similar to this one, I, I'd be all in on that for sure. Because this knife's <laughs> great, uh, and I would love it if it was just a little bit bigger. Christine said, "Okay, send us the shark and the bench man." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the the uh, the Benchmade Auto Bedlam, man. It I really dig it. I really do. Like I said, I it's just not something that I thought I would really be into. But once I put this thing in my hand, um, it's got a big old. I mean, this is like full on mold engine knife <laughs> for uh, um, you, of course. She said, but it's got a uh, big old skull crack cracker on the back of it here, and yeah, it's like just a beast of a knife. Going out in the jungle and. Yeah, I mean it, it is, but I, I really F like it. Shit up, <laughs> and it's just it, it just carries way better than I ever thought that it would. I mean, and <laughs> and for a side opening auto, well, let's see. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill you. Christine. Let's see if, if oh there, another race, another oh, race, another race. Actually, we gonna be. let me move that we before I. Be. You ready? Mm -hmm. mm, I think it was that one. Yeah, the Kershaw I think's a bit it's faster. Still close though. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're close. Well, you're welcome, Christine. I'm just reading. <laughs> just being me, you know. Makes me want to get in a fight almost as much as the CS Frenzy does. <laughs> right? <laughs> nice. I mean, I don't know what that knife is, but like, the, I feel you, I get it. Frenzy. Oh, get it. <laughs> and this, this is my big, ridiculous cold steel. I do have, I, I have some big, ridiculous... Uh, knives, which I was actually thinking the other day I need to do a video on just my Mole Ninja type stuff. Mm -hmm. Stuff like this and this mm -hmm. and uh, what else? Oh, and this. This four inch blade OTF. So that's a thing. Um, Thoughts on the new Quiet Carry Waypoint with Vanek Steel? Um, I, I don't know. Meh. I'm yeah, apparently, <laughs> I'm. I I like it. Uh, it it's in the same place as the drift for me. Um, I I think I like the drift slightly better. I just like the look of it better. But um, I think, in my opinion, anyway, this is just my own opinion. I feel like uh, Quiet Carry. Uh, they're really reaching the very very top of what they could charge for those knives. Um, they're just to me they're they're overpriced for what they are um and yeah i just they're they're putting a whole like to me uh, for the money that they're charging for those knives they had better be perfect on every single level um and i don't well i know they're not perfect um as a matter of fact i've 
I've handled them. Um, I haven't handled the new one, uh, but I've got a, you know, a really good understanding of what it's going to be. And as much as I do like the drift, um, I just, I, yeah, they're just too, too much, uh, for what you're getting there. And there's design wise, there's a few issues, uh, construction wise, there's a few issues. Uh, the screws on them are not very good quality. The hardware is uh, very soft. Um, you can't have a bad screw. That's yeah. Unacceptable. It's just, I mean, for that kind of money, uh, I'm going to, my, my expectations are just going to be higher because of what they're charging for those knives. And, and I don't think it meets my expectations. Um, Penny so. said th those are angry knives. Yeah, these are angry <laughs> knives. That is no doubt about it. And then Nismo wanted to know, where did you say you could find the Tashi slip joint? Uh, the Tashi slip joint, uh, I, I actually got this from Drop. Uh, and I don't know exactly where they're available right at the moment. Uh, this thing's a big, ridiculous thing, though. It, it was made by Real Steel. It's in VG10. Uh, blade steel and it's pretty interesting the way the the mechanism works in here uh, as you can see there is no uh, back spring like a traditional slip joint has and uh, one of these days I'll do a video on it and show how the mechanism works but it's it's interesting it's not a dual detent setup like uh, like some of the other uh, knives that are being made right at the moment and it's just a gigantic, ridiculous slip joint. I don't know what else to say about it, uh, but it's relatively cheap. You can buy this thing, I think, for around uh, like sixty-five to seventy bucks, something like that. And it's a, it's a beast. There's no doubt about it. Like I said, I mean, you can get back here and just really do some whooping. You want to get on a chopping board? Mass you know, drop I can see this do only. It's drop now. Right? Yeah, it's drop now. Yeah, sorry, mass drop. Formerly known as Mass Drop, currently Drop uh, is where this came from. But it's made by Real Steel. So anybody that you know sells Real Steel, that I'm assuming they're going to carry this knife. Uh, have you tried a Manly S90? Hey Kurt, slip what's joint? up? Uh, I I have. I'm not a big fan of the Manly slip joints. Um, I've got a couple Manly knives right here. My favorite Manly knife is the Peak. Uh, I think that's, in my opinion, Hi, Kurt. Hi, Kurt. Uh, this is the Hi. best knife that Manly Kurt. makes for the money. Uh, and this one here happens to be in 12C27. Hi, baby boy. Uh, this here is the Manly Comrade in CPM 154. And you can see that this is a slip joint and it's got four stops. Instead of just having a half stop, it's like, and it comes open. How's it go again? Brrr. Uh, fit and finish on this knife is not very stellar. Um, however, the blade is ground very well. So, you know, it's also not very expensive. Um, but this is one Kurt just got in here. This is one I need to send to Kurt, uh, to have him HRC that one. Uh, but I like manly knives for sure. Um, they're great users. So you can see there, uh, you know, the Peak's like three and three quarter inch blade. The Comrade's three and a half. Uh, and then I also have the Manly Drugger in uh, CPM 154 as well. Uh, fixed blade. And this thing is insanely nice. Handle on this knife is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It really is. I love it. So... Yeah, I like Manly stuff, uh, but like I said, my favorite thing from Manly when it comes to folders is the Peak. This is my favorite knife from Manly. I would buy this over the Wasp any day of the week. <clears throat> it's just a better knife. It's a larger knife. I like it better than the Backlock. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoy about it is you can see the blade stops right there. Um, when you push down the Backlock or uh, the Lock Bar, it... it falls to halfway and then creates a little bit of friction so you have to push past that point it's not it's not a half stop but it makes this a one-handed uh so the knife doesn't swing back and hit you in the fingers uh which is really really great i really like the manly peak it's a great one deep carry clip awesome knife and the comrade uh basically is just a, a larger wasp is all it is handle shapes very very similar 
It's the wasp, just bigger. That's how but those go. I think the question was S90V, and I have had these in S90V, um, but these are the ones that I currently have. Neat. So. Yeah. <clears throat> so. This. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> Failed multiple times. Uh, you know, we were talking about the the uh, quiet carry stuff. You know, this knife right here, you can buy for about 100 bucks less than the quiet carry. Uh, yeah, it's not Van X blade steel. Um, but it is a gorgeous knife that's an M390 that's well, well done M390. It's titanium liner, beautiful carbon fiber, <laughs> dual row ceramic bearings. It's got a titanium pocket clip and the ceramic ball actually rolls in this one, Bye, which is Steve. crazy. You out of here, Steve? Got to go later on. Uh, stay warm. Happy Easter yeah. to you. So, uh, you know, and this is what I'm talking about, I guess, when I talk about the the expectations, you know, with Quiet Carry, they're they're charging such a <laughs> high price for those knives just because they're in Vanex that uh, the rest of the knife, it just has some flaws and some issues. So in this particular case here, this is a stellar knife. Everything about it, I really enjoyed. The ergos are great. Uh, the jimping on the thumb ramp is perfect. I love the opening hole. This is a stellar knife in every single other way. Uh, and so the blade steel is not quite what Vanex is. Um, but, you know, it's significantly less money. What's the point? I don't get Quiet Carry. What's Quiet Carry? It's a brand. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was like a style of knife. No, it's a brand of okay. knife. Well, there you go. There's your proof that I don't know shit about knives. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, we've been going for a long time here. Uh, I really, really appreciate everybody that dropped in here and said hello to us. If anyone's got any questions, uh, that hornet is sexy. Yes, Bye, it is, Jesse. bad monkey. Bye, Jesse. It Happy is Easter. sexy. Later on, Jesse. Uh... Oh, yeah, Jesse emailed you. Okay, you sounds good. You got a good. few I'll... emails that... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll respond to those when I get all this junk cleaned up and whatnot. Go back Later on, Kurt. Uh, oh, real quick, Kurt, before you leave. I got to throw this out there. I set this out, and I didn't show it. Kurt... <gasps> Dom Bomb loves us. Nice. He Thanks, Dom Bomb. loves Bond. us. Kurt was generous enough to give me this knife right here and put my name in it, which is awesome. This is the Gerber Gator in 154CM. It is super cool and comes with this handy dandy little uh, nylon satchel. Uh, Ooh, he's got a kissy face uh, into everything. Uh, Ooh, girl. Girl, he likes us. <laughs> uh, so, love you too, Dom Bon. Oh, <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you very much, yeah. Kurt. Greatly appreciate it. And Beth, right now, <laughs> given the circumstances, uh, Beth over at Mrs. J. Cool, oh. she uh, hooks it up and she's making face masks right now. So if anybody's in need of a face mask, now's your time. Hit her up on Instagram at Mrs. J. Cool. She can do some really cool stuff. Um, she did these hanks for Molly and I. And, uh, and she, like I said, she's doing face masks and I know that, you know, I've even heard on the news and stuff that some people are, or some places are, are saying that you have to have, uh, face masks mm -hmm. to enter. So if that's going to become a thing, this is a really great option. So hit her up. Yeah. Hit up, hit up Beth over at Mrs. J cool on Instagram. She will hook you up with a face mask. Hey, Kurt, if I'm next and you're going to put something on a knife for me, if that's what you're getting at, which you definitely don't need to do. <laughs> my catchphrase is bonjour bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bonjour bitches. That's how she rolls. So anyway, guys, 
thanks so much kurt thank you very much for the gator i really really enjoy it and uh i'm now not only am i the knife king but i'm the gator getter and uh and this gator needed some getting so all right guys well um yeah i think that about does it for tonight uh, lovely talking to you all on this happy holiday yeah of seclusion <laughs> all right you can go back to bed now kurt thanks a lot yeah you're free to go <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell beth we said hello uh thanks so much guys we greatly appreciate it and for those that donated some money tonight i greatly appreciate that um yes. there's all sorts of costs that are uh involved with doing this channel and so thank you very much for your support and later peter uh have a good night i hope you and christine are doing well and hope everyone stays happy, healthy, safe, and all all the stuff. And you had a good Easter. Yes. And uh, we will talk to you soon. We love you guys, too. All right. I got to write that down. Got it, Kurt. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Have bye. a good night. Bye.